All right, so boom, hit that bitch went. Playing up against the 49ers. They put Trey Lance in immediately. I know it's going to be a problem. Quick little pass play to Mitchell. Eh, he's driving down the field. He chewed up the entire the entire first quarter clock, and I'm pissed off about it because time of possession is important. But I'm not going to let him score. I can't let him score on this drive. User SWAT, Micah Hyde right there. Hey, sometimes you get lucky, but I still got to know. I got to find the end zone after I get that. Tiptoe down the line on him. Micah Hyde is great. And sometimes you just get lucky. The user SWAT put the ball right there. Uh, high intelligence, high awareness. I love it when the play comes together like that. That's the first quarter. Fast forward to the fourth, 22 to 7. Pretty low scoring on my half, but he only scored one touchdown. I can live with that. Three interceptions from Trey Lance going into the fourth quarter. Feel great about that. We're going to celebrate the shit out of it. Now, the whole time. We got to put a body on him every time he tries to come out the backfield with one of these running backs. They got like five of them in San Francisco. It's disgusting. But watch how he's being patient. He's waiting till the last minute, and we catch him. So he did this on first down, second down. So I know he's going to try and do the same thing. So I'm using Hughes, and I'm watching him. I'm going to pull back. And watch. Now he can't go anywhere. He has to make that bad throw. But he makes it. It's a touchdown to the tight end. Good good play. My guy should have stopped that. But the little crossing route shit that they had going on. Sometimes you just can't defend it. And yes. He did go for a fake field goal and threw it to the tight end and was trying to style on me at the end. Two minutes left, he's in seven point distance from me. So not only do I have to run the ball, I gotta protect the ball, I can't take any big gambles, I can't risk it because as soon as I get crazy or too comfortable and he takes advantage, now I'm in a position where I could lose the game. So what you'll see, I got the momentum on my side. Uh, Josh Allen, he's going to go out here, and I'm going to try and hit Diggs first down. Two-minute two minute warning, easy timeout, take a break. And now I can literally just run the ball, get a couple first downs. He's got timeouts, but I really have to make a play here. Uh, the running backs in Buffalo are super trash. And this is what I got. I usually pull up the no huddle offense during these situations, but if he's going to call a timeout, I'm just going to take my time, read, read what they're putting out there, and boom, you see that? No jukes, no nothing. Uh, just one, one juke at the end, okay, you got me. But no jukes, no nothing. We go right up the gut. He knew it was a run play. It's the fourth quarter. Less than two minutes left. There's nothing I can do, logically, but run the ball. And he still can't stop it. Special teams is dangerous. I hate, I, look, if they get past the 25, I'm pissed off because they could have ran, they could have ran it all the way. Uh, but here, I know he's going to throw it. He's got to make something happen. He doesn't have a lot of time. He's only got two timeouts. So my goal is to basically press, but don't let him get crazy with it either. He's going to try and expose, use his best weapons, uh, use his speed, guys, so that he can take advantage, and I just got to play close to him. Apply a little bit of pressure. Boom, it's mine. Micah Hyde, I see you. That's number two for the day for Micah. And is he running it back? Is that a yik six? And that's a walk-off interception. Walk-off pick six. 